one team that has more incentive than others to push for the ICC Men's T20 World Cup title, the New Zealand opened their World Cup campaign against trans-Tasman rivals Australia to whom they lost in the finals last year. Led by Kane Williamson, the generational talent who has taken his team into the finals of Cricket World Cup, T20 World Cup and the World Test Championship, New Zealand have the tools to challenge once again and even go one better to add that T20 World title to the Test Championship they won last year. There is no lack in firepower needed in modern T20 cricket, starting from Finn Allen at the top of the order and Glenn Phillips and Jimmy Neesham in the middle to support the outstanding batting talents that are Williamson and Devon Conway. Daryl Mitchell, New Zealand's hero in their epic semi-final win over England, is nursing an injury but is expected back from their second match in the Super 12 and his big hitting will only add more firepower to this dangerous lineup. Tim Saudi and Trent Bolt return to lead the bowling attack, although the Black Caps have had to carefully manage the likes of Lockie Ferguson and Adam Millen returning from injuries with options in spin courtesy Ish Saudi and Michel Santana. With seven wins in their last 10 T20Is, New Zealand entered the tournament in good form but in a group that also includes hosts Australia and England, currently the second best team in the format, passage into the semi will not be a foreign conclusion. Devon Conway, a late bloomer into the international cricket, Devon Conway's remarkable record in T20I cricket, which sees him ranked in fifth in the ICC T20I batting ranking, underlines his importance to the New Zealand team. His average of 52.27 from the 25 innings is second best amongst batsmen in the international game average of 40 in ODI cricket and 51 in tests proving he is good cross format best batsman. Unfortunate to miss out on last year's final after punching his back following dismissal in semi-finals against England and breaking his hand, Conway will surely want another chance to feature in a final and carry some excellent form into the tournament with 540 plus scores in his last eight innings. Trent Bolt Trent Bolt continues to be a force in international cricket ranked 17th in the T20I ranking from bowlers, second highest among the New Zealand's bowlers. The left-arm fast bowler has the ability to swing the ball both ways and makes early breakthroughs. Despite playing just one T20I in Australia, his record there is excellent with 37 wickets in 14 matches across formats, in conditions that he will thrive in expect ball to be handful. Jimmy Neesham, slotting in as one of all rounders in the New Zealand lineup, it is with the path that Jimmy Neesham does the most of his work. A player who lives for big moments, Neesham almost delivered New Zealand a Cricket World Cup title before his team's heartbreaking loss in the 2019 final to England on boundary count back. Along with Daryl Mitchell, he was instrumental in clawing back the semi final of the 2021 World Cup against the same opposition. His career strike rate of 163.65 ranks him second highest among players at this World Cup, so when Nisham is at the crease, runs will flow quickly for New Zealand.